1952, a comic book called Mighty Adam was published in Japan and became a TV cartoon in 1963. It is so ironic if you think about the fact that the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima was nicknamed Little Boy. Little Boy was literally visualized as Mighty Adam, a superhero. The cartoon was effectively translated into a Korean cartoon. <clears throat> With voices dubbed, the settings changed to Korean cities, and all the characters had Korean names. But when I was a little kid, like other kids in my generation, I indulged in Japanese comic books and cartoons. But when I grew up, my longing for the culture became frustration, anger, and sometimes rage. A lot of cartoonists turned out to be Japanese far rightists. When hip hop was introduced to South Korea in the 1990s, the historical and cultural context were mostly eliminated except for the form. But there was only one rapper called UMCUW who was conscious about rapping in Korean. He rapped without rhyming because rhyming is natural throughout the history of English literature, but not in Korean language. That's me when I was in middle school. <laughs> um, when I was in middle school, I started to dig Korean hip hop. But they never thought about what it really means to be an Asian rapper rapping in Korean language in dreadlocks. When it comes to Korean art history after Korea's independence, art pioneers studied art in Japan, the United States, and France, and came back to South Korea trying to implant the modernity in their homeland. I feel so weird and funny about the classes I took, where the teachers were always talking about the great white male artists while I was sitting in a classroom surrounded by only Koreans. But also we knew that it's just the language that we have to learn to play in this field. Right. So the questions that I can't really resolve are, why did I get interested in art in the first place? Or why was I so into Japanese cartoons? Or why couldn't I just keep enjoying Korean hip hop? Or am I also gonna lose my interest in art in the future? There should be an answer for this awkwardness. Or is the awkwardness the only possible answer? I wanna be an artist, not Korean artist. Let me finish this with my father's favorite song. It's called Nangmane <laughs> Deo.